Hi people with the spirit of learning, welcome back to my video in YouTube, my name is Angga from Indonesia. Well, long time no see, I have been busy at this time, I'm so sorry for that, but right now, I'm gonna bring you something amazing, this is for designer, this is for developer, or even this is for everyone with the spirit of learning. Well, I'm gonna introduce to you about the new design tool, this is called Famous. Famous? How to become famous? Like uh, a celebrity? No, 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 no. The name is was only famous, but it is. So famous is a design tool that helps you to make an animation on incisor interface design. So for you, if you are working in the Sketch, Adobe XD, Invision, or if uh, another design tool like a Photoshop. No, no, no. Don't get me wrong. Mostly people are still using Photoshop to design their own user interface design. Yeah, you don't believe that? Me too. <laughs> but I hear this is good news for Photoshop user. If you are still working on the Photoshop to make a great user interface design, you're gonna like this design tools. It's called Famous. Well, from the Photoshop, it's help you to able to convert your design to the Famous. Then you are able to make an animation in your current project with the Famous design tool. But Angga, what about the, the Adobe After Effects? Yeah, I know. But I think Adobe After Effects is harder than Famous Studio. So here, I'm gonna suggest you to try to learn about the Famous Studio because it's gonna be easier for you to learn about the animation of user interface design with the Sketch, Invision, Adobe HD, and even Photoshop. Well, this is still uh, for the beta testing, so hopefully that Famous will launch soon. So we're gonna test on our device to make our user interface animation. Well, in the Famous Studio, you're able to make a video and you're able to prefer your own design real time with the everyone. So you just need to share your own IP. This is the unique app that everyone able to access your design through of their own browser. Well, if you are interested, let me show you how it works with Steve, the CEO of Famous. This week in Tips and Tricks, we're going to go over importing. I know it doesn't sound like it's a, a really interesting topic, but to me, it is. Uh, because as a designer, I don't want to have to give up the tools that I already love in order to use Famous. So if you use Adobe XD, if you use Photoshop, if you use Sketch, uh, you're in luck. You can simply use those products as you always do and then import them into Famous. Uh, so rather than talk about it, let's just show you. So we're going to take this, uh, uh, the original files uh, that created this and show you how to import this. This is a, a little instant app that we call Semperfy. Um, and we actually have a separate tutorial on how to build this on our YouTube channel. So check it out if you're interested. But let's actually show you how you could have created the original designs in any one of Photoshop, uh, XD, or Sketch to get, uh, to get and create this uh, wonderful experience. Um, uh, so let's, uh, rather than talk about, just show. And let's start right off with um, pulling a file. So in my finder, you can see that we have uh, Sketch here. We have uh, Photoshop. And we have XD. These are the three that we support uh, today. But we are uh, next up going to be focusing on uh, Envision Studio. But we'll also support Keynote, PowerPoint, and basically anything that people use as a design source. Um, this is the sketch file, uh, uh, the original. So you can kind of see it here. Whoops, don't want to change that. Um, and uh, as we import this into Famous, uh, you'll see that this is a pretty easy process. You can either say plugins Famous, send to Famous, or I can minimize here, go back to Famous, and I can simply say import and choose a sketch file, and voila. And everything imports over into Famous, uh, pixel perfect, and all the fo fo fonts uh, transfer, everything, all the layers are exactly the same that you want. Um, and you're started off with your base package, and now you can add uh, the videos and so forth uh, necessary to make the app as we showed the other day. Um, how about uh, Photoshop? So uh, just to show you the original Photoshop file, uh, this is it here. Um, so you can see nothing, nothing special. It's just the same thing, but done in Photoshop. So if you prefer Photoshop, 
A really nice uh, uh, thing is that you can simply import uh, into Famous just as easily as you did from Sketch. And that's kind of hard because a lot of times when you import from Photoshop, the fonts come over as images. And one of the things that we took some uh, detailed time on is making sure that the fonts are in fact uh, fonts when they come over. Um, and that's awful nice when you're coming in uh, and saying, hey, I can use the full gamut of everything that Photoshop can do, and I get to keep everything just as I would have expected it. Okay, next up, uh, we have XD. And if I pull up the XD file here, XD is a little bit different uh, because uh, uh, XD has animations. So say you already planed out a few ideas on how you might animate things with their animation sets that are included. Um, I believe this uh, animation is their default push animation. So one of the big questions we get is, do you pull in the animations from XD? Um, and the answer is yes, we do. Uh, so if I import from uh, XD, Say voila. Uh, so now we have you know the same exact file here from a font uh, uh, basis and everything, and from a design and layout basis. But now if I click on uh, the animations I had created in XD, they are now set up uh, to be the same, and that's awful nice. So if I'm if I'm trying to get my baseline within XD and then expand from there, you can. And of course, if I want to change these animations and say I want to override the base I got from uh, Adobe and do a circle in, I can. Uh, very, very easy to do. Um, and so that's uh, a brief intro of import, but the idea is that uh, what we're aiming to do is let you use whatever base root design application uh, and then have Famous be the companion to that application. And that's gonna be rooted through almost everything that we do in Famous. Uh, look for future tips and tricks uh, where I walk us through the all-important sync. So we, you can uh, actually attach Famous to the file that you're working with. And if you make changes in Photoshop or XD and Sketch, they propagate not only into the Famous workspace, but all the way through the live preview uh, that you're working on. So that's awful nice to have. So that's it for this tips and tricks. Uh, please, please join us next time for the next one. We'll be doing these uh, weekly. And they'll always be like short, to the point, high utility. Uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks a bunch. This is Steve. Thanks. Bye. Okay, everyone with the spirit of learning, I hope you were enjoying that video. Thank you, Steve, for introducing to us about this famous studio and how is that works for the user interface animation. Okay, everyone with the spirit of learning, if you are interested, please let me know in the video's comment. Just say that. Oh, I want, or I'm in, or just say whatever you want. It means that you were interested with this design tool. Well, hopefully that we are able to get the uh, beta testing later on. Okay, everyone, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share with your friends. Nice to meet you from Indonesia. See you next time. Bye.